Hi, good afternoon and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 24th of August. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 10. Stern discipline awaits anyone who leaves the path. The one who hates correction will die. When I read this text, I, th I was thinking about the people of Israel as they left Egypt. When they left Egypt, they left of, of, with sounds of acclamation, with celebrations, dancing to God, dancing for joy, because they had spent 400 years in Egypt, and most of the time they were slaves there. So now they left Egypt and they're going to the promised land where their ancestors, the patriarchs, had lived before, before they went to Egypt. But then after a while, God told them to follow certain way and to do certain things. But they decided that they, know, they knew better and they knew the right way to, to go. And then they got lost for 30, 80 years more. So for 40 years, they were lost in the desert going round and round and round. It would have taken them a few months alone, but it took them all that time. So God was disciplining them, telling them where to go, how to do things. Because God is a God of love. But when people hate God's discipline, God's teachings, they die. And that's what happened to the people of Israel in, in the desert. You can read that in the book of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, uh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Proverbs chapter 15, uh, sorry, 27, 5 and 6 says, Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Hidden love here is not love at all. Because real love will rebuke, will discipline, will help. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. Interesting. Here, if a snake comes towards you, it's going, it is for, to bite you. If a crocodile opens its mouth, it is, it is for, to eat you. So it is better to receive a discipline of a real friend than a kiss from an enemy. God is not our enemy. He is our friend and he wants us to walk in righteousness. That's why sometimes he is going, going to send words of exhortation, like uh, 2 Timothy 16 and 17 says, All scripture is, God, uh, is, is from God, and is inspired by God, and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Very interesting. We can be trained in righteousness. God is going to teach you through his word how to walk, how to live, how to breathe like him. So that the servant of the Lord God may be, may be equipped for every good work. Fully equipped for every good work. The only way you can be equipped for all these good works that are, that are from God is by receiving God's exhortation. It's interesting because I think we should read more often books like Leviticus. But we prefer those verses that gives us a, a sense of security, of a prosperity, and not a, a, a text that talks about the horrors of sin. There are about mainly two things that we can learn from books like Leviticus. The first one is God is holy and the wages of sin is death. So my la la last text is Acts chapter 19, 8 to 10. Paul entered the, the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months arguing persu 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 persuasively about the kingdom of God. But some of them became obstinate. They refused to believe and publicly, uh, the, and, and publicly mag mag malignate the way of uh, God. So Paul left them. He took the disciples with him and had discussions daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. This went for two years so that all the Jews and, and Greeks 
who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. So God gave those Jewish people from that uh, town three months. And then he, he sent his apostle, his servant, somewhere else. So God is going to give you three months. How long three months will last? Maybe one year, two, four, five, ten. The door of grace is open today. So enter through it. And if you have entered through the gates, the, the doors of the door of grace, remain in Christ. Even then, even when he's rebuking you, he's disciplining you, he's telling you that you are wrong and the way you're walking in is not the good, the better one. God bless you.